Okay, so this episode is going to be about politics and uh, various views. So here's the thing. All people are not the same. Intelligent levels vary. And some people are just don't give a shit or are very uninformed. So what I'm going with this is... Why aren't there IQ tests for voting? Now, we used to have this back in the day, but then they stopped doing it because it was considered racist, which doesn't make sense because if white people or any nationality, all colored people, Asian, you know, black, white, whatever, they all take it. How is that racist if everybody's doing the same? Now, how would an IQ test bear or uh, help the whole uh, situation of voting? Well, one, you wouldn't have people voting based on race or religion. Two, you wouldn't have people voting just to vote. Three, you wouldn't have people voting because she's a woman or black, white, so on like that. And two, you would have smarter voters, which would be able to determine a better option for our uh, new new leaders. Now, I'm going to go into a post that I saw on Twitter. Um, here it is. Okay, so this girl, I won't reveal their names. She goes, "Feeble or not, we don't want we don't want final Trump." The hell does that mean? Signing a fucking full sentence. The other guy that's arguing with her goes, Well, and what stage is he currently in? She goes, I don't have a clue. I'm not into politics that much, and I don't care about Donald anymore, and you care about me. Okay, so she's making assumptions based on zero facts and just what she's told. Now, if this is one person that thinks this way, there's millions, fucking millions out there that think the exact same way. And these people are allowed to dictate the uh, final outcome of a presidency? Shh. That's fucked up, man. The guy responds, then why do you want Hillary? Because she's a woman? She goes, no, because she's empowering, strong, and seems to be a sensible leader to me. A few reasons why, and I don't care if she's a, a woman or not, I support her. Now, she spells seems, S-E-A-M-S, which is not correct. Um, she also gives zero feedback as to why she thinks that. She doesn't care, but clearly she wants Hillary to win, so it doesn't make sense either. So her argument is basically hypocrisy. Now, the guy responds with, so you don't care that she was responsible for the massacre of American soldiers and that she defended rapists in court? She goes, well, I didn't say I did, and I don't, I don't, but I don't support a racist homophobic like Trump. The hell? Another assumption. How is he racist by taking out, not taking out, but uh, deporting people that are illegal immigrants? He's only enforcing the rules. If they have citizenship and so on, they can stay. He's not deporting people because of their race. He's deporting them because they're illegal immigrants. You have to have legal documents to be here. That's part of the law. He's enforcing the law. And this chick, this girl, clearly doesn't know the law. Doesn't know shit about Hillary. But she will more than likely vote for Hillary because based on her gender on here. Now, this is just one example. And... There's probably, of course I'm assuming, but you get the picture, there's hundreds of millions of people out there that think the same way. Very uninformed. Watch Fox News. Only. Only watch CNN. And just bullshit media that spews out bullshit. If you're not reading multiple sources, you're only getting one side of the story. There's a famous quote. 
victors write history. That means you're only hearing one side. You're not going to get the loser side because they got they got destroyed or whatever. Their country got taken over. Okay, so what we are going back to is how we were hundreds of years ago. The stuff it's it's not making sense. We're not thinking logically. But we're basically being brainwashed. Now, this is assuming that votes count. Because if I'm an elitist and I'm making billions and billions of dollars, I'm funding both both candidates. I'm not letting idiots decide who's gonna be the boss of my paychecks. Come on now. Same reason why they use offshore banking. You can tax the elite and the rich as much as you want, but they got the cash to leave. If I'm a billionaire and they're saying they're going to raise my taxes 90%, bro, I'm going to Luxembourg. I'm not living in the States anymore. Shit, I'm setting up banks in fucking Switzerland right now. See what I'm saying? Like, the logic here does not make sense. And that's, and we're seeing that right now. And that's why American businesses are leaving overseas. Why would you pay higher tax when you can go overseas and pay less tax? Come on now. These people aren't idiots. And they act like they're idiots. Like people, I, I see people saying the politicians are dumb, they're stupid, all this, that. Well, clearly they aren't because most of them are rich and well-off. They're not like us at all. They're not like the middle class. They're not like the poor. Never were, never will be. They all have money. And they all have lobbyists in their back pockets. And now I'm done with this rant. Just some food for thought. Let you guys think a little bit. Tune in, drop out. Peace.